Let's say you just want to deploy an API on Vercel's Edge network. Can you even do that without Next.js? Subscribe and like this video to find out. Vercel is a company behind the Next.js React framework. Most of the new features are first tested and released on this framework. However, you can deploy an Edge Function API today without even touching Next.js and still benefit from zero cold start. Let's get started. First, let's create a regular Node.js API just to wet our feet. We will create a new folder to hold the code for our project. In this repo, we will initialize Git and initialize an empty JavaScript project. We will install our dependencies and create an index file under the API folder. This file will contain a Node.js function that specifies how our serverless function handles the API call. The routing for these Vercel API functions is similar to the file-based routing system in Next.js. Next, we need to run the Vercel CLI to set up the project. We will accept all the general options as we just want to make sure we're able to run this API. Once this is done, proceed to localhost 3000 slash API and we should get a happy hello world message. But we don't really care about just making another Node.js API. We want to deploy at the edge and be blazingly fast. To accomplish this, the first thing we want to do is to export a configuration object to tell Vercel this code should be deployed at the edge. Secondly, we need to edit our code and make sure we are only using standard web APIs, as edge functions only support these standards. Once this is done, we will go ahead and test a second time that our API will respond. Success! Now we only need to host this. Let's just call the Vercel deploy CLI command, and within a few seconds, we should have our API deployed on a globally distributed Edge network. This is probably the easiest way to get started today with Edge functions. However, this runtime is still fairly limited in what it can do, since you cannot rely on any Node.js methods. A good way around those limitations would be to use WebAssembly modules, since Edge functions support the regular Web API, and WebAssembly is one of those APIs. This means you would be able to use code written in Go or Rust, but you would have to compile it down to WebAssembly first. And this is not easy to do, especially if you are unfamiliar with this ecosystem. This is still a pretty fun experiment that was all done within 3 minutes. Subscribe and comment on this video to discuss what topic you would like me to cover next.